only three weeks left before Infinity Warfare comes out. There's already rumors of a new Call of Duty coming out in the future set in Vietnam. This is an old rumor that has surfaced before Advanced Warfare. The rumored Vietnam game was not mentioned in a while in the uh, COD community, but rumors have surfaced again from IGN's pain, which I'm not going to waste my time translating and rely on Destructoid for this, this one. This might help alleviate all the negative press that Infinity Warfare got when they announced the trailer during E3 if I remember correctly where they said there was a remastered version of the first Modern Warfare, but it's not coming separately. Here's a tip. Release Call of Duty Modern Warfare separately, and you'll probably make more money than if you only release it with Infinity Warfare. Nintendo finally announced their new console last week. The NX is now finally known as the Nintendo Switch. Now looking at the trailer, we can see that it will be a console and handheld hybrid. It features two controllers that can be slid on the side of the tablet looking console. Also will probably be available a pro controller as shown in the trailer. Another cool feature from the NS is the two controllers on the side can actually be two different players playing one game at the same time. Now hopefully you guys are enjoying the small little trailer right here, but I actually had to blur it out because Nintendo will actually ID block this. But it's okay, it's in the Wii U's native resolution. On Friday, SAG AFTRA, short for, let, let me, let me, don't have any glasses there, but short for the Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, which really rolls off the tongue now, doesn't it? Went on strike after months of negotiating with big company. Now, just to clarify, by months, I mean 19 to be exact. The group was negotiating for safer work conditions and reasonable wage, just to name a few. Now, of course, here at last week's Gaming News, hopes that this work conflict gets resolved very soon. But personally, I would like to offer my service to these companies. I can do an Englishman. Hello, governor, would you like some TM crumpets? Or I can also do a nice Southern accent. Now you listen right here now, Billy Bob. You go get me my gun right now, you hear? Last week's Gaming News would like to apologize for the offensive nature of the previous lines. Earlier last week, a leaked image from a Steam developer post, which was acquired by a member of the Facepunch forum, surfaced showing details of upcoming plans to tighten criteria on the storefront. One of the criteria that got the most attention was the misleading nature of some of the screenshots posted on the dev's front page. Here's the quote that was posted on the forum. We ask that any image you upload to the screenshot section of your store page should be screenshots and that show your game. This means avoiding using concept art, pre-rendered cinematic stills, or image that contains awards, marketing copy, or written product description. Please show customers what your game is actually like to play. One of the most recent blunders that falls under this cleanup is, well, you guessed it, No Man's Sky, which still features some image and videos that are not actually in the finished game. I know, I know, two weeks in a row dissing No Man's Sky. I really don't hate the game, I really like it actually, but unfortunately facts are facts and the game doesn't feature huge sand snakes or creatures that look like they spent the last 15 years on high settings in a microwave. Nintendo released the NES Mini last Friday and was immediately sold out everywhere. The console features 30 original games from the NES. These games include classics like Zelda, Super Mario Bros, Donkey Kong, and much more. In no time at all, the console was already spotted on eBay, selling for the outrageous price of $300 or even $2,000. I think this person doesn't understand how eBay works though. The console's retail price is actually $60 when you go buy it in store which I suggest that you wait to go buy instead of spending that much money for it. Nintendo released a couple of tweets concerning the shortage later in the day, stating that the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition system is a hot item and we are working hard to keep up with customer demand. There will be a steady flow of additional systems through the holiday shopping season and into the new year. Now in the next one, I'm pretty sure retailers were thrilled to hear Nintendo say this one. Please contact your local retailers to check availability. Selecting participating retailers can be found here. Now if you follow Nintendo's big line of releases in the last couple of years. This is a typical strategy that they do every time. Step 1. Create big hype. Step 2. Underproduce the product so you create a fake shortage. Step 3. Make people go completely insane waiting for the hand size console. You know as much as I do that they're sitting on truckloads of these consoles right now. What do you mean they're not available anymore? Please just let me buy one. Just please 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 just let me buy one of these consoles. Please I'll do anything. I'll, I'll, I'll even go to your store and give you a blow. With the end of the year coming in hot, the Game Awards finally revealed their list of nominees for this year's award show. The show, which usually features a nice dose of awards and EXCLUSIVE TRAILERS, will feature Doom, Inside, Overwatch, Titanfall 2, and Uncharted 4 for Game of the Year nominees, and also Red Dead Redemption 2, Zelda Breath of the Wild, 
Horizon Zero Dawn, Mass Effect Andromeda, and God of War for the most anticipated game. The award show will also feature a new category, Best VR Game, since this was a hot topic this year. Another piece of news coming out of the Game Awards is the Industry Icon Award being awarded to Hideo Kojima. If you remember last year's Game Awards, Kojima was not present during the event because of this whole Konami affair going on. I'm happy to see Kojima being recognized by the industry and I can't wait to see what he does with Death Stranding, which weirdly enough comes out the same day as the end of Konami. What a wild coincidence, ain't it? At the end of last week, Telltale Games has finally announced the release date for their up-and-coming Season 3 of Walking Dead. On December 20th, you will finally be able to play Clementine once again, and a new character is also introduced by the name of Javier, or Javier, I think. Season 3, also referred to as A New Frontier, will be available on Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, PC, iOS, and Android. A Season Pass will also be available for the purchase where you can get 5 episodes for the price of $25. For the players wanting a disc-based version of the game, this will become available on February 7th with the first episode loaded on the disc. Unfortunately, episode 2 to 5 will be only downloadable content. The disc version will come at the price of $30. Here's hoping that we get an eye-popping experience off this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. 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 Hopefully you enjoyed this week's last week's gaming news. But if you liked it, of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and you can also now follow me on Instagram and also YouTube.com for slash Me Time Gamer. I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for watching this week's last week's gaming news, and I will see you in the next video, and I will see you in the next one. Keep on, keep on, keeping on.